when they told me to go in front. <laughs> How is that possible? Is it not dangerous to sit there? You were not afraid. So did you get to touch the buttons there? Oh, nope. I was just looking at the pilots as they were talking and pressing so many buttons, so many things. But it was so amazing. Must have been magical. Oh, right? it was a dream come true. Wow. They were in control of the things there and so relaxed. Wow. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. That is what we should let our God do to our lives. Okay, Shaki. Is it what? When God is our pilot, mm -hmm. we get to let him be in charge of our lives. Oh, mm -hmm. I see and I agree. When he is the pilot in the sail, mm -hmm. call our lives, we win in all we do. Wow, that's so genius. Don't say it. 
Um, I meant Shaki, but anyway, ni sawa tu. Shali, mm-hmm. when our pilot Jesus Christ is in our lives, we don't say mean things. Say sorry to Kadogo. Okay, I'm sorry, Kadogo. Mm, I forgive you. Yay! Shabba dabba dooba dabba shabba dabba dooba. I got my mind made up mm. and I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. I got my mind made up and I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. I like the shabba dabba doo doo. Shabba dabba doo. Shabba dabba doo. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Children's Choir, for leading us in praise and worship. And to our puppetry team, Shirley and friends, well done. Boys and girls, good morning. How are you today? Are you fine? I'm fine, thank you. And my name is Teacher Monica, and I'd like to welcome all of you to today's lesson. But before we begin, I'd like us to pray. When I want to talk to God, I put my hands together, I close my eyes, and then I'll pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we say thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for all the children who are listening and watching today. Father God, we pray that in your own special ways, you'll help them understand the lesson today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Boys and girls, do you remember what you learned last Sunday with teacher Sam? It was about sailing in his presence. And before I tell you our story and what you are going to learn today, I'd like you to tell me what you can see on the screen. What can you see? There's a picture there. There's a boat. There's a big ship on the water. And there's a man holding the stairwell. Now, the name of that person is a pilot. A pilot is a person who is in charge of directing the ship. And he makes sure the ship goes in the right direction path. Boys and girls, today we are going to learn about a man called Paul. Paul, how Paul took the gospel to a place called Corinth. Are you still there? Wait and listen to the story. Let's be quiet. Yes, good children. Long ago, they lived a man named Paul. Paul loved to travel and travel to different cities, to many places. Paul loved Jesus. And since he loved Jesus so much, he wanted to spread and preach and teach many people about God's love. So Paul traveled to one place, to one city, to the other. Can I tell you something, children? As Paul was traveling to these different cities, some of the people in those cities didn't want to hear what Paul was telling them about. Some were angry. Some were talking funny, funny things about Paul. So Paul went to another city, to another city. And Paul did not give up. He, continue, he continued preaching about Jesus. He went to another city and there, imagine those people there. They were worshipping different gods. Children, who do we worship? We only worship one true God. So these people were worshipping the difference God and Paul started teaching and preaching to them about the one true God. But they didn't want to listen. 
So Paul went again to another city and traveled until he arrived to a city called Corinth. Can you say it with me? Corinth. When he arrived there, he met two friends and their names were Priscilla and Aquila. They became very, very good friends. They even helped Paul to teach and preach about the word of God. One night, can you say one night, as Paul was sleeping, let's close our eyes and pretend we are sleeping. As Paul was sleeping, Jesus appeared in Paul's dream and he told Paul not to be afraid, to continue preaching and teaching about God's love in Corinth. So Paul and his friends continued teaching and preaching about the love of God. And can I tell you something, children? People in Corinth started believing Jesus. Can we say hallelujah, everyone? Yes, that is good news. And do you know, Paul was very happy when the people in Corinth believed in Jesus. Show me your smiley face. Mm -hmm. That's how Paul was happy. Now, boys and girls, Paul, Jesus guided Paul in his journeys. He guided him. He protected him. He made sure that he arrived to where he had promised him to be. That is in Corinth. And do you know what? Jesus was the pilot in Paul's life. Boys and girls, just as how Jesus was the pilot in Paul's life, he can be your pilot as well. He can guide you. He can advise you. He can direct you to the right path. When you're scared, when you're afraid, when you go to a new school, and there are so many people, some don't want to talk to you, some put sad, funny faces on you, can I tell you, Jesus is the only one who can protect you and direct you and make you happy. So boys and girls, I'd like us to say a special prayer so that Jesus can be our pilot, so that Jesus can be our friend, so that Jesus can direct, can guide us. And are you ready? Please repeat this prayer after me. Hands together, close your eyes, and I will pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I welcome you in my heart. Be my pilot. Be my friend. Guide me, lead me, and advise me in all that I'm going to do. Write my name in the book of life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Boys and girls, if you have said that prayer, just know Jesus will be there for you. He will listen to your prayers and he will help to guide you just the way he guided Paul. He'll be everywhere. Now, we need to learn more about him. And how do we do that? We need to read our Bible. In this Bible, there's a lot of stories about Jesus. So we need to be reading the Bible so that we can continue to grow and learn more about him. Read your Bible, pray every day. Pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. Yes, boys and girls, remember to be reading the Bible 
And if you don't have a Bible, you remind your parents, the people who live with you, to get for you a children's Bible so that you can get to learn and grow and know more about Jesus. Boys and girls, our memory verse for today comes from the book in the Bible, Psalms chapter 32, verse 8. Repeat it after me. Psalms chapter 32, verse 8. And it says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way to go. I will instruct you and teach you in the way to go. Don't forget that. Don't forget Jesus will instruct you in everything that you do. And at this point, we are ready for some coloring. It's craft time. Are you ready? Go get your colors. Go get your pencil. And I'm going to show you something beautiful. Boys and girls, our craft for today, we are going to make a stairwell, just like the one we saw on the ship. The pilot was holding a stairwell, and it's so easy. We are going to draw a circle on a paper. You can draw a circle on a cardboard paper, a manila paper, any paper that you have. And then you're going to trace out the the circle, you can either use a sophoria lid, yes, the one that mommy uses to cover her gully, or a lid for a tin, or any other. And today, Teacher Monica took a lid for her mommy's pot. And I'm going to put it here. Remember, you can use any circle item that you have in your house. It can be a lid of a container, or a big clock. When I'm done, I'll put it aside and then I'm going to make, to draw a line, a straight line. When I've drawn the straight line, I will join the ends with a curve. I draw a curve and join up to the other point. And then, how many eyes do we have? We have two eyes. I'm going to draw one eye, a straight line, and this other side, a straight line. And then, I join the points together. Hmm. I join this other side. Wow, it looks like a happy smiley face. Then I'll color. You can choose any color that you want. You can choose red, yellow, orange, any color that you want. You can even decide to do rainbow colors in one side. I will color and the smiley face, it's a reminder to us that Jesus is the pilot in our lives and we should never be afraid. He will guide us and lead us to the right path. And I will color and color and color. When I'm done, I'm going to get a scissors. And remember, when you're using a scissors, an older person should be with you so that they can help you to cut. And I'm going to cut along the traced circle. What are we making again, children? 
we are making a pilot stair wheel. Wow, isn't it that lovely? It's beautiful. Good job, children. Who can remember the memory verse? Yes, we are going to write it here. Psalms chapter 38. And this is how it's going to look. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. Yes, that's how we are going to do it. And I colored. And the smiley face reminds me that Jesus is in control of my life. And I will never be afraid because he's going to direct me. Boys and girls, that marks the end of our lesson. But before we go, I'd like us to pray. Are you ready? Let us close our eyes and pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for teaching us about the story of Paul and how you directed and guided him. Thank you for being our pilot in our lives. Jehovah God, we pray that you will continue being our pilot in our daily activities. Help us to continue learning more about you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Boys and girls, that is the end of our lesson. Until next time, God bless you. Bye-bye.